What is capability-based planning and how do you use it? In a business context, capability-based planning is an approach that ensures that changes in an organization are aligned with the overarching strategic vision. This approach has its origins in defense and military planning in an effort to plan in a VUCA world. More recently, it has become popular in the business domain, particularly for developing ICT solutions and digital strategies. The overall theory is that those organizations with superior capability to execute strategy will win, whether they are in the armed forces or in business. Whilst capability-based planning has long been the tool of trade for successful enterprise architecture, military strategists and consultants, it hasn't yet been widely understood or adopted in the broader community. What is a capability? A capability is an organizational building block that describes what it does or can do. A capability is unique in that it incorporates a combination of people, process and technology. A capability describes what the business does and should not be confused with just the skills or competencies of the people. In other words, a business capability can describe the processes involved, the technology used and the people skills required to do something. How does capability-based planning work? Supported by a collection of techniques such as capability mapping, capability-based planning will enable an organization to do the following. Identify the organization's capabilities. Assess the level of change required for each capability. Prioritize the change required for each capability. Develop a plan for making the changes happen. Ideally, capabilities identified as requiring change should be linked to the organization's strategic goals and objectives Focusing on these capabilities assists the organization to stay on track as it works to execute its strategy. What are the benefits of capability-based planning? Its whole of organization approach breaks through departmental silos by shifting from a functional view to a capability-based view. It focuses directly on what an organization needs to do to execute its strategy. It provides a map of the organization's overall capabilities to ensure that nothing is missed. It directly links initiatives and projects back to the capability changes and in turn, back to the organization's objectives. It helps to determine the highest priority capabilities that you need to develop and related initiatives. In doing so, it clarifies and optimizes business investment. By more thorough solutions definition, by doing it in the context of capabilities, it opens up planning to alternatives rather than simply incrementally improving existing technology, processes, and people. It provides a systematic way of identifying change initiatives. By looking at what capabilities are required to meet your objectives, it provides clarity for your initiatives. Let's look at a capability planning example. Let's look at other building blocks that make up an organization, such as people, a standard organizational diagram that shows the chief executive, chief operations officer, chief financial officer, and so on. This describes the who, who does what within the organization. Next, we can look at a functional model or a process model of how the organization is put together. This describes the how, how an organization does things. We can also break the organization down into a physical hierarchy that shows the physical assets of the organization. This then becomes the where, where are things within the organizational structure. All three building blocks make up a capability. This becomes the what. So let's take a capability, which is financial services management. This capability is led by the financial services manager. This capability undertakes the financial services processes. It is located at the head office and it utilizes the financial management system. How do you use capability-based planning? The first place to start using capability-based planning is within the design, discovery, and thinking stage when you are developing your strategic plan. Then, as the strategic plan is being rolled out and decisions are being made, use capability-based planning to help you keep your decision-making on track. Finally, capability-based planning allows you to have a standardized benchmark which to measure your results against at the end of a strategic planning period. Thank you for watching. If you have any further queries, please don't hesitate to check out our website at norvan.net. Please have a look at our other videos and share them where you can.